Hello friends, this video on practical geometry part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Hello friends, this video on practical geometry part 15 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now that we have understood how to draw a circle, let's talk about line segment. So line segment is a part of a line with fixed end points because when we talk about line, we talk about so normally what is a line? A line is a combination of points which extends infinitely in both directions. But when we talk about line segment, it is not the line but a part of the line or a segment of the line with fixed end points. Like here on the screen what you see is a line which is extending infinitely in both directions and that is indicated by the two arrows on two ends. But the moment we talk about just a part of the line, like AB is not a line but a line segment because it is just a portion of the line with fixed end points A and B. So this is a line segment. So let's look at this example. I am sure that all of you would have played this game sometime in your childhood or maybe you are playing this now as well where you have a team A and a team B and both of you from the two ends you pull the rope. So now let's see how do we draw a line segment. Now drawing a line segment is pretty simple. Let's say that you have to draw a line segment of length 5.6 centimeters because length is the parameter that defines a line segment. Like you can have many different line segments. How are they different from each other? They are different because of their lengths. So in order to draw a line segment, you need to know the measure of the length. Okay, so we know that the length is 5.6 centimeters. All you would need is a ruler. So there are two options. One is you can construct a line segment only using a ruler. The other option is you can use a ruler as well as a compass. So let us look at the only ruler option first. So all you need is you take a ruler and then you mark the zero point on one end. That is the starting of the measurement. So here you mark one point and the other point at the given length. That is 5.6 centimeters. So this is 5 and this is 5.5. So this would be 5.6. And now you join these two points. So what do you get? The, you get a line segment of length 5.6 centimeters. So let's say if this is a line segment AB, its length is 5.6 centimeters. So using ruler, you can very simply draw a line segment. The other option is you use a ruler and you also use a compass. Why compass? Because just to make sure that the length that you are measuring is accurate. Okay, so in this case, what you do is you place the ruler and then place the compass over it, just above it such that this pointed tip of the compass is at the point 0 and the pencil tip of the compass is at 5.6 and then you mark you make an arc at this 5.6 so once you once you have made that mark at 5.6 then you join these two points and here again you get a line segment whose length is 5.6 centimeters. So both of these are the same whether you use only a ruler or a ruler plus compass. Uh, so in both the cases you would get a line segment of a given length. Let's try this out. Construct AB of length 7.8 centimeter. From this cut off AC of length 4.7 centimeters and measure BC. So basically let, let's do a rough sketch first. So first we have to construct a line segment AB whose length is 7.8 centimeters. Now from this we need to cut off AC that means C has to be some point between A and B such that AC is 4.7. So let's say C is somewhere here so that means this length is 4.7 centimeter and now you also need to measure the length of BC. Now measuring the length of BC you can very easily say that okay I will subtract 4.7 from 7.8 so yes ideally that should be the length of BC. But here since we are dealing with practical geometry, we will measure BC using a ruler. We will see how can we make use of a ruler to measure lengths. Okay, so this is our ruler 
first we draw a line segment of length 7.8 centimeters so this is ab of length 7.8 centimeters now we have to mark a point c at a distance of 4.7 centimeter from a so what do we do we again place the ruler from a we mark the point 4.7 centimeters using the compass we make sure that the pointed tip of the compass is at a and the pencil tip of the compass marks that point where the length is 4.7 so you see this is 4.7 so with this pencil you make an arc just to mark that point and this shows that this point is c so that means this ac is 4.7 centimeter and the total length AB is 7.8 centimeter. Now, can you tell me how would you measure BC? Obviously, this time you will place the ruler in such a way that the zero of the ruler is at point C. So that way you can very easily measure the length of BC. Now, this would be left for you as an exercise and I'm sure you'll be able to measure it. So do this now and then also tally that the measurement that you get on the ruler should be equal to the value that you get when you subtract 4.7 from 7.8 centimeters. Now, we learned that how do we draw a line segment and how do we measure a line segment. Now, if I ask you to draw a copy of an existing line segment, that is, you are already given a line segment, maybe like this, this is a line segment which is given, but I do not know what is the length of this line segment. But if I ask you to make an exact copy of this line segment, so what will you do? Because I do not know whether it is 3 cm, 5 cm, 5.7 cm or 5.8 cm, but I want an exact copy of the same line segment. So in that case, what we do is we make use of the compass. So with the compass, you place the pointed tip on one end and the pencil tip on the other. So you adjust the uh, opening of the compass in such a way that these two ends of the compass are on the two ends of the line segments. So basically that gives you the measurement of the length in your compass, in, in the orientation of the two arms of the compass. Now once that is done, what you do is you draw a line, not a line segment. I'm talking about a line. And on this line, you bring the same compass and mark the two points. Like you bring the same compass. So one point is marked here. The other point is marked here. Now, the distance between these two points is nothing but the length of this line segment. So we have not altered the orientation of the arms of the compass. If you just draw these, if you just join these two points, so you get a line segment which is an exact copy of the existing line segment. So in this fashion, you can always make a copy of line segments whose lengths are not known. Because if lengths are known, then it is pretty easy. You will draw a new line segment of the same length. But if lengths are not known, then using compass, you first I mean, measure the length of the given line segment and then using the same compass on another line, you draw an arc and that's how you get a line segment of the same length. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.